and it's Patsy. So the last couple of days I've showed you different decks that are not um, tarot related or um, oracles. Um, today I thought I'd come on and show you how I use um, one of my decks for something different rather than just a straightforward tarot reading. Um, I have so many decks, um, I don't always use all of them. And I liked this particular deck a lot, but I was finding I was never using it. Um, now, people who are regulars on my channel will probably um, have heard me say that I do um, ancestor readings as well as um, oh, past life readings. Sorry, my head went then. Past life readings. Um, and I use my stretch tarot for that. Um, and that is specifically all I use my stretch tarot for. Um, from the last few years, I've done um, classes in uh, mediumship. And um, I've always been told that I can do it. And when forced to do it, I, I can usually do it in front of a class or what have you. But actually having the confidence to do it for other people is something that I've always struggled with. Um, and um, I've always found that the cards was like a prop for me and um, whenever I gave readings the prop you know the cards was like a distraction even if the messages wasn't always coming from the cards it was something for me to put my focus on and something for me to um to to hide behind I suppose so anyway um I saw this deck on um somebody was showing this deck I think it was um one of their favourite decks or something like that and I was like well yeah I've got that and I haven't used that and I did like it and it's the um, Everyday Enchantment by Poppy something or other I can't remember now the box is away because I leave these on my altar um, I did trim one because they are a huge a huge card and even now with the, the board is trimmed off they're still as you can see are still a fair sized card um, I haven't edged them yet um, but I did trim them because they was big um, and it came to me um, one night I was in bed and um, I was talking to a friend who, or friend's daughter who um, had lost her dad and um, she asked if I could do a reading and um, I said I'd give it a go and I, and I used these, I, I just got the brainwave, I thought I'll use these, these cards and um, used it to do the reading for her and it had her in tears and um, laughter because she said they were spot on. Um, so I've been doing a lot of um, practicing with these to sort of kind of see. And so far, it, the messages that are coming from them are really, really good. Now, the reason why I use them is because of the images. Oh, that's upside down. Don't know why they're upside down because I don't even read reversing. But yeah, so. I mean, you can get so much from these these cards. Do you know what I mean? I mean, the way I'd start, you know, I start the reading is I would ask um, whoever was there for whoever, you know, after I've said my my um, prayer and what have you, and uh, then I would ask whoever was there to come forward, um, and then I would ask. Um, for you know some cards to to show me you know who you know something about their life or something you know about the sort of person they was or what have you um to clarify who it is that i'm talking to so to give you an idea i mean this is just going to be it's not going to be you know it's not a reading or anything because i'm not reading for anybody um, but it's just to kind of give you an idea of what I do. I would shuffle and ask. Um, a lot of the times, um, or sometimes it depends, I allow the cards to fling out to me. These cards aren't so good. The, the, um, the other tarot, the stretch tarot, is quite good for throwing cards at you. This one isn't so good. This one isn't so good. So, um, that like this one now, I was just shuffling and it sort of stuck out at the side as I was shuffling. So I would use that card. So I would probably, you know, it, it would depend on, you know, what I was getting at the time. But I would probably say, you know, um, a young man has stepped forward 
um, somebody who loved his car, somebody who spent a lot of time cleaning his car. It could be that this young gentleman's um, life was ended in a car accident or something like those lines. But then I would pull some other cards. And again, I'd shuffle every card. I wouldn't just take them off the top of the deck. I would, I would shuffle and shuffle and shuffle till I was ready to pull or one just flipped out or one went to the side or what have you. And then I would pull another one and oh, upside down again. And then, oh, they're all upside down. I don't know how these all got mixed up because I don't. So the next card, what would come out was this one, which is the world card. But like I said, I don't very often use them as um, a um, the meaning of the tarot. It's more to do with the images that I'd use. So with this one, um, I don't know if I can get it in fair enough. Yeah, there we go. There's a lot of wildlife there and, you know, so this is probably somebody who loved to get out in the field, somebody who um, loved to go fishing and loved to be out in nature, probably took a lot of time in nature and probably even drove a lot through different parts of the country. It's probably part of his job or something um, because of this part of, you know, this part of the reading where it sort of said about the car and what have you. Um, oh. So, you know, it, again, it would depend what came out to me in that. Then I would shuffle again. And then pull another. These are still upside down. I really don't know what I've done here. I'm going to have to sort these out because, like I said, I don't even read in reversal. So I don't know how they've managed to get themselves all upside down. So then we take um, another card. And this one is of a dog see that so um again it would probably be something along the lines of he's talking about a dog that he either had here here while he was here or um he's he's met since going over and this dog is whatever you know um and then i'd shuffle again and then um keep pulling cards like that to build up a message but the, the main message would be the first the first one because that is who the person is, what's coming through you. And any cards that you pull off after that would just be to sort of build up who the, you know, what he was like as a person, um, different things about his life to kind of give evidence of that, um, that, that he's around, if you like, and that he can see what's going on with you. Um, but it also, it's, it kind of, um, also builds a picture up of him so um like the ones that i'd done the other day it brought up the, somebody on a motorbike because these images are, are, are very you know very modern and so easy to and then this person did have a motorbike when this motorbike came up so that you know that was confirmation of yes this is who's come through and these are upside down this one came through for me as well talking about a little girl who was um the querent's daughter who loved to to paint and to be creative and um he was watching over them and and it turned out that this child had actually done some drawing for for, for the granddad or whatever you um so they are really good, do you know what I mean, to, to use as that. And and I'm like I said, I'm found that I've got some really good oh, they're really all upside down here. Um some good readings from these, using them um to connect with, you know, spirit. Um and like I said, I usually it depends. So I I would I draw a better I'm trying to put these back in order. I um will usually pull it sort of in between five and ten cards. Um, to tell me a bit about the person who has come through and then I will ask the um, clarification that they're around the person's life by giving me something what's going on around them now um, what they would be able to understand was come a message from them um, and like I said I usually pull about five cards for that 
and then um, I always end up with probably an, a, it depends on how long the message is but I usually stick to five cards to keep it sort of like an even spread and ask for five cards to um, give them a message of um, what they want them to know uh, so you pull in about 20 cards and um, the first ones are like I said are to sort of tell you who it is who's come through the next ones will be to sort of tell you um, that they're around you and by giving you things what's going on around in your life now and then I always end up with the message that they have to bring forward and again it's mainly done on the images intuition when I get to the final part about um, the message that they have that I very often incorporate the, the actual tarot card meaning as well as the image but I've found it's worked really well and I've I'm really pleased that I found a use for these cards because like I said I wasn't using it as a normal tarot very you know very rarely it was just sitting in a box and it's such a shame because it's a lovely deck so it was just a bit of a little brainwave of mine to use these I'm still upside down um to try to to get messages from lovers you know loved ones who's passed over and what have you um oh in this, much the same way as I do um, ancestor readings with the stretch tarot so um, yeah like I said because they're very modern day these are very good for like people who've lost somebody in the last few years or whatever you know whereas the stretch tarot looks a bit more um, oldie worldy so that isn't you know why I do the ancestor readings with that because that could be an ancestor of hundreds of years ago who comes through but yeah so oh chicken all over they're still upside down I really don't know what I'm done with these I'm gonna have to go through and sort them out but yes yeah, so this is how I use these cards and um, like I said I do find that along with the intuition and the images from um, the card you get some really good readings with this I mean I've not had I've not done one reading yet where the person I've done the reading for couldn't take the message so that was really you know it's been really really good but it's, and it's something that I'll continue to work on. Um, but I just thought it'd be, you know, if I know not everybody is interested in um, spirit world and all that kind of thing, or even believe in it. I do. Um, and um, this is why I use them as that. But for those who do believe in it, you know what I mean? Um, this might be a handy deck and a handy tool to use to connect with um, members, you know, loved ones who's gone over, whatever, you, to get messages from them. And like I said, I don't use, very rarely do I use the card meanings, it's more to do with the images, it's more to do with my intuition and what I see in them images, like when this one came out for me, um, this was bringing up memories of childhood being at the beach, going crabbing, there's lots of crabs about there, um, but you know, not just building the sandcastles, but actually catching crabs, um, and again this one, when this one came up, um, this would be somebody who um, probably worked in the construction business, a builder, a, a, a bricklayer, um, that kind of thing. And this is like, when this one came up for me, this was like somebody who, uh, it was a gentleman who never really grew up, that um, he, he didn't, you know, he didn't really ever become an adult adult he was always young at heart and always done things that wasn't expected of him because he didn't want to be the boring run of the mill rut as an adult he wanted always to keep that childlike behavior so again you know these these cards are really good to um, pick out I know this one come out for me and this was all about um, a child in the family a child in the family getting recognition of something yes it could be for swimming but it didn't necessarily mean it had to be swimming it could be something else within this you know school life or whatever that they've been recognized for doing but um again it could be swimming because you know they are all in the swimming goggles um so it just depends what we get do you know what I mean or is the motorbike one what I was talking about do you know what I mean so like I say I do find, you know, if you got this one, you know, it's possibly bringing a memory up of um, a dog that um, has had problems or what have you and is now with them in spirit or they've seen that they've had problems with their animal but it's now on the mend, that kind of thing. It depends what you're going to get, do you know what I mean? But 
this card comes up as well, as well and again I do then when um, this, these court cards come up as a person I do use the images on the picture but I'll also take into consideration what the, the, the you know what are the cups ones to get their personality a bit more so yeah so this is um the deck that I used to do that and I'm finding them really spot on and I thought I'd come and share it with you I know there's a lot of people who don't believe in this sort of stuff but I know there's also a lot of people who do and you know if you have this deck it may be a way for you to um try, you know to connect and to try them out you know use your intuition be guided by the images and just see what happens um I'm glad I did because like I said they're wonderful to do these sort of readings and I'm really enjoying using them again which is great they sit on the altar now all the all the time rather than sitting in a box not getting used so I, I you know it's a win-win situation for me but I thought I'd share this and I'll be back when I'm on holiday today I'm going away for the weekend it's start of season so I'm off for the weekend so yay um but if I get chance to come on while while we're down there I will um the weather doesn't talk about being great so I don't care about that but um if I'm sitting in the van and um, it's quiet, then I will try and get on and um, say hi. If not, I shall see you when I get home at the week after the weekend. And I'll speak to you soon. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye.